Hello, everyone. Sue Anishchuk here, uh, back to continue the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And for today, we are on lesson 107. And today's lesson is Truth Will cor Correct All Errors in My Mind. It says, What can correct illusions? but the truth and what are errors but illusions that remain unrecognized for what they are where truth has entered errors disappear they merely vanish leaving not a trace by which to be remembered they are gone because without belief, they have no life. No belief in the illusions, we have no life. There's no life there at all with those illusions. With those illusions, they dissipate when we're in our truth. And again, so they disappear to nothingness, returning whence they came. But dust to dust, they come and they go. For only truth remains. You can imagine what a state of mind without illusions is. Now, how would it feel? Try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less, when nothing came to interrupt your peace when you were certain you were loved and safe. Just imagine that and try to picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time and to eternity. Then let the sense of quiet that you felt be multi multiplied a hundred times and then be multiplied another hundred more. So here, you know, the, the truth, um, you know, again, corrects all errors. So our guiltless state of mind, which in which there's, you know, um, it's it's being willing to experience this by, you know, releasing all errors to be corrected and to be erased, uh, and you know, and to reach a state of perfect love, which is the oneness of God with God. That's the guiltless state of mind. That's the atonement. And 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 and, um, and this being uh, our truth uh, with God, there is no fear. And um, you know we are thus in, in a in a fearless state uh, because we uh, in in that space of guiltlessness and when errors have been released and and corrected. You know, we're experiencing the peace of God. Um, and, and, and to be there um, it, it is no fear. And, and we're able then to, you know, anchor the holy self, our holy self, uh, anchor the light within ourselves, to anchor the love within ourselves, to anchor the holiness within ourselves, to, to anchor the innocence. When all that's been released, all the errors, and, and, um, and it's been erased by the Holy Spirit, and we're in that guiltless state, um, we're in the space of who we truly are. We're in truth. So, um, you know, and, and it's being that we are created this is what we're coming to more and more as we practice. 
We are created as this holy self. Um, because we are, we are made in the image and likeness of God. It, and we're not this body. Or we're not this egoic mind. So, so that's, that's the space of truth that you're speaking here. And, and there, again, there's no illusions there. And it says, and now you have a hint. Not more than just the faintest imitation of the state your mind, your fearless mind, will rest in when the truth has come. Without illusions, there could be no fear and no doubt and no attack. So when we're in that space of fear again, of doubt and attack and confusion and chaos, we are in our egoic mind. So when truth has come, all pain is over. Again, if we're suffering or in pain, it's because we are caught in the illusion. We're separate. We, you know, we're in that space of believing we're separate from God. We're on our own. Again, it says, when truth has come, all pain is over. For there is no room for transitory thoughts and dead ideas to linger in your mind. Illusions are all, there's no life there. Just notice. Just notice how much you dwell in problems and are not recognizing uh, the fear that's underlying all that, that is driving more and more uh, problems, trying to fix the problems on your own without, without God. It said, truth occupies your mind completely, liberating you from all beliefs in the ephemeral. The truth is already in us. We can't recognize it when we're in the ego, when we're in the illusions, in our stories. And, you know, they have no place because the truth has come and they are nowhere. They are not, they cannot be found for truth is everywhere forever now. So when truth has come, it does not stay a while to disappear or change to something else. The truth is always in us. It does not shift and alter in its form. The illusions shift and alter in their form constantly. He said again, it does, it, the truth does not shift and alter in its form, nor come and go and go and come again. It stays exactly as it always was, to be depended on in every need and trusted with a perfect trust in all the seeming difficulties and the doubts that the appearances of the world presents in gender. The world presents illusions. They will merely blow away when truth corrects the errors in your mind. When truth has come, it harbors in its wings the gift of perfect constancy and love, which does not falter in the face of pain, but looks beyond it, steadily and sure. Here is the gift of healing, for the truth needs no defense. You don't have to defend the truth at all. And therefore, no attack is, poss is possible. Illusions can be brought to truth to be corrected. But the truth stands far beyond illusions and cannot be brought to them to turn them into truth. We try to find some truth in the illusion. And we keep, you know, finding another problem, as I said earlier because we're trying to seek the solutions on our own rather than turning it over to the Holy Spirit so that we can transcend the ego with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does the work. So truth does not come and go nor shift nor change in this appearance now and then in that. 
evading capture and escaping grasp. It does not hide. We block it. We blind ourselves to truth. The truth is always there. It stands in open light, in obvious accessibility. It's always accessible. It is possible that anyone could seek it truly and, and it is rather, it is impossible. See how easy, how easy it is for the ego to slip in even when you're reading. I've noticed this a lot when I'm reading the course. And uh, it, what it says here, it is impossible that anyone can seek it truly and would not succeed. Today belongs to truth. Give truth its due today, and it will give you yours. You are not, you are not meant to suffer and to die. Your father wills these dreams be gone. Let truth correct them all. Which says, we do not ask for what we do not have. We merely ask for what belongs to us that we may recognize it as our own. Today, we practice on the happy note of certainty that has been born of truth. The shaky and unsteady footsteps of illusion are not our approach today. Today, we are seeking the truth, giving up the illusion, it says, again, um, we are as certain of success as we are sure we live and hope and breathe and think. We do not doubt we walk with truth today and count on it to enter in all the exercises that we do this day. It says, begin by asking him who goes with you upon this undertaking. And be he, and that he be in your awareness as you go with him. You are not made of flesh and, and bone and blood, but were created by the self same thought, which gave the gift of life to him as well. We're not this body. He is your brother. And so like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself, your higher self. You ask to go with you and how he be absent. And, and the question is, how could he be absent where you are? It says again, truth will correct all errors in your mind, which tell you you could be apart from him. You speak to him today and make your pledge to let his function be fulfilled through you. To share his function is to share his joy. Joy is our function. His confidence is with you as you say. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. And I will rest in whom is myself, my higher self. Then let him lead you gently, gently to the truth, which will envelop you and keep you uh, peace and keep you peace so deep, or it's not keep, let me say that again. Let, then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world reluctantly. You won't want to dive into the illusions of the world. And yet you will be glad to look again upon this world for you, you will bring with you the promise of the changes which the truth that goes with you will carry to the world. Your love, the truth that you are, it will be brought to the world. And they, and when you're looking through those eyes of truth, the, through the vision of Christ, that's what you're going to see and experience. They will increase with every gift you give to 
you know, of the five small minutes it's asking here. And the errors that surround the world will be corrected as you let them be corrected in your mind. This is all, remember, it's a mind training. We're correcting the errors in our mind, the beliefs that we've taken on that are not serving our higher purpose, our higher self. Do not forget your function for today. Each time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors in my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free. So so today, anytime that you know you feel anxious or impatient or hurried, uh, unhappy, guilty, or less than peaceful um, in any way, you know, notice that, you know, that it is a sign that you're believing in error. And, um, you know, you're making an error uh, uh, real. You're making that error. You're making the illusion, the error real. So you need only to stop, you know, holding on to the barriers the blocks, the, the, you know, the, uh, the blindness against the truth. Again, stop believing in error. Of course, says, uh, you know, an error is, or a mistake is only something to be corrected. You know, actually welcome them. Welcome that you're aware of them. That's the, that's the gift in this, in this undoing process. You know, th this is the undoing process referred to in the course. Stop holding on to the barriers. You, when you recognize them, you give them over to the Holy Spirit. Truly give them over and, and stand in, in the space of, of nothing and, and in trust and faith that you're going to be given the right direction. That your mind will, will shift from the wrong mind in this to the right mind in this. When you recognize that you know the gift of the Holy Spirit is is available in any in every instant. So it says, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> we need do nothing to find the truth, as I said, but you know we um, we do need we do need to stop interfering with the awareness of truth, interfering with being caught up in our wrong mindedness. So again, as we stop holding on to the error, the truth will enter on its own because truth, truth is what we are in reality. And, you know, here's, here's the fact. If we don't want to detach from our stories, then guess what? We won't. And, you know, if we want to detach from the stories, we will. That sounds simple, but that's the fact. We're either choosing to stay in our stories or we're choosing to give them up. You know, and truth, again, truth will, will enter into our mind as we choose to welcome it. This is what this lesson is giving us the opportunity to do. Again, the more that we practice, you know, the stronger our willingness to welcome the truth becomes. And again, the truth is always there waiting on our welcome. And, and the truth will always show us that the stories that we're living into are not real. So today's lesson again is truth will correct all errors in my mind. All right. Look forward to um, being with you in the next video. And as you go forward today, practice this lesson and welcome the truth of who you are. You are love. You are light. You are holiness. And you are innocent. And so are your brothers and sisters. And if you're seeing yourself not uh, being any of that, or your brothers or sisters not being any of that, you're in the space of judgment of yourself and them or in, in the space of defense or attack, just know that, you know, there is an error to be corrected, to be given over to the Holy Spirit 
it's it is the process of forgiveness which is simple just let it go and trust the spirit is with you and you'll be giving the right direction to your right mindedness all right again look forward to being with you in the next video which is for lesson 108 and again please like comment share and if you haven't already subscribe please to this channel all right look forward to being with you tomorrow in the next video bye for now